Most students didn't get any of the four marks available for this question and less than 5% got all four. So let's have a go at it together. It's about something called activity, which is quite confusing at the best of times, but we've got a really confusing graph here where we've got number of atoms um, and that's times 10 to the power 23. What that means is that's 6 times 10 to the power 23, that's 5 times 10 to the power 23, and so on. So we've got to bear that in mind for later. Now, activity actually tells us in the question is the rate at which a source of unstable nuclei decays. Now, rate means per second. If you ever asked to find the rate of something, usually it means the gradient of a graph. And in this case, it means gradient. However, this graph is not a straight line. It is a curve. So what we're going to have to draw on it is going to be a tangent. So I'm going to draw a tangent, and it says determine the activity at 300 seconds. So let me draw a dot at 300 seconds, and we're going to have to draw a tangent on and find the gradient of that tangent. So let me show you tips about drawing a tangent. This comes up in only certain topics in physics. It comes up in chemistry as well. Um, you have to try and make sure, once you've drawn your dot on, that the line looks as symmetrical as you, it can on either side on your ruler. So something like that would be too steep, that would be too shallow. So I'm going to try and draw as best I can. There's always ranges for this kind of thing. Let's say that there. So that would be a decent tangent to draw. There we go. Um, right, next one I'm going to do, um, I could go down to the bottom there, but actually it's stopped on quite a neat line here, so I'm going to work out the gradient of this line that I've just drawn. So dotted line going all the way along. Um, now the gradient is going to be equal to change in y over change in x, and the change in y-axis, that's quite a nice one there. I've just drawn mine, so it actually falls quite neatly. If you can do that, that's always good. Um, it goes up by 4 because it's 5 minus 1. So it's 4 and it's times 10 to the power 23 because that's what was on our y-axis. Then we're going to do divide by a change in x-axis. So that goes from 0. It goes all the way up to that's 540. I'm going to say so 540 seconds. So we put that onto our calculator. And we have 4 times 10 to the 23 divided by 540. And that gives us 7.4 times 10 to the power 20. So I'm going to put my calculation down here. For this question, they do need to see evidence of tangent. You can't just take two values. They need to see drawing a tangent for any of these marks. So we've got mark for saying uh, the tangent drawn, mark for working out some, some sort of gradient, and mark for final answer, which I'm going to put in here. The range is anywhere between um, 6.5 and 7.6, so I'm just in range there. Maybe I could have been a bit shallower. Um, and the unit for activity is a Becquerel or BQ.